is college is the college football committee is it political there's got to be something to this so let's let's discuss this right quick Thompson giving ground here comes the pressure he gets away from Holmes finds his way to the outside McLaughlin turns him around he sets and throws and this ball is caught you know, the college football committee came out with their top four selection for the uh, college playoffs for this year. And they picked Michigan number one, Washington number two, Texas number three, and Alabama number four, and left out for the first time in history basically an undefeated team, undefeated Power Five conference champion team and it goes back even before the college playoffs um, being left out <clears throat> and so I want to discuss this and kind of wonder did they get this right and I'm sure I'm going to hear a lot of crap from people I'm going to hear a lot of remarks about what I'm going to say and this is my opinion this is how I feel but I feel like they, they definitely did in a a injustice to not only Florida State but to college football in general. Uh, this is going to have a ripple effect to me. Um, it to me shows the bias of the SEC and the reason I'm going to tell you why because it has nothing to do with Alabama beating Georgia you know, my philosophy on this has to do with you have to have a criteria to base this on and you got to stick with it throughout. You can't make up the rules each week as you go along. And I know some people have uh, justified it saying, well, they go by who they think the four best teams are at that time, at, at that point in the week, at each week's different. And I say, no, that's no, they didn't. And I, I and the reason why I say that is if you're going to say these are the top four teams this week, these are the top four teams in the country and deserve to be in it, then you're mistaken because if you're going to go by just who are the top four teams, then you couldn't have left out Georgia. I don't even think you could have left out Ohio State. I could question is really Washington one or even Texas, or even Alabama. Alabama, all year, has not been the same Alabama team we've seen throughout the years. They took on a wild second luck play to beat Auburn, had to pull it out later against another team. And, yes, they played a great game against Georgia and, and won, but are they a better team? <clears throat> you know, if I, I'll give you an example. If Iowa would have somehow upset Michigan, does Iowa get in? You know good and well they would not have. I know a lot of people say, well, that's because they have two losses. Well, then again, if you're going to go by losses, then Florida State should have got in. It didn't make sense to leave them out. And I, I got to say this. Yes, they're saying, well, you can leave Alabama out. They beat Georgia. Yes, you can. Just like you could have left Texas out before their loss. But then again, if if you had a look at one of them had to get in, then Texas would have been the right choice because they beat Alabama head to head. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think Texas would have got in without that win against Alabama. I think they knew they couldn't justify putting Alabama in and not Texas in. And because of that, Florida State was left out. If Texas didn't play Alabama and beat them, if they just wouldn't have played and would have played someone else and won and still had this loss they had, then I believe Florida State would have been in. You probably would have had then Florida State third and then Alabama fourth. But that committee couldn't see not leaving a, a, an SEC team out of there. That's, that's how they took it. And I guarantee you because the SEC has represented, been represented there every year. And so there was bias there going, we can't leave the SEC out. Because to me, the right answer would have been Florida State would have been three. 
They were unbeaten. They did everything they were supposed to. Them kids played what the, their schedule they had to play, and they won. It doesn't matter their quarterback went down. You know, uh, Nebraska won the national championship in 1994. When Tommy Frazier went down, they went to their backup. And then their backup went down, and they played Matt Turman, their third-string guy, and yet won the national championship team against Miami in Miami in the Orange Bowl, a team where that they never lost or they had a hellacious record at home and won that game. So you can't sit there and say because, oh, they lost their – Starting quarterback, they're not the same team. Yeah, they won some close games. But isn't the point of playing is to win? It just didn't make sense to leave them out. And I think what happened was the committee was hoping that they'd lose to Louisville. Probably thought they would end up losing, but we, what did they do? They fought through everything and always found a way to win. So... I don't see, and they had some good wins. They beat two SEC teams, won the rest of their games, and some of these games weren't even close. And even that big 12 championship game really wasn't even close. So to me, I didn't justify leaving Florida State out. Well, okay, so if you didn't leave Florida State out, you have to put an undefeated team in there. They're unbeaten. they got to be in there. Point blank. If they're a Power 5, unbeaten, conference champion, you there's that's it. You shouldn't have left them out. So you should have had Michigan, Washington, Florida State. That leave one spot. Now, if you want to – can't give it to Alabama because Texas beat them. If Texas wouldn't have beaten them, it would have been Alabama anyway, and that's what would have been your four. But because Texas won – they couldn't leave Texas out, but they're not going to leave Alabama out. So what they do? They justified it by going, ah, people don't think uh, Florida State's that good anymore because they lost their quarterback. So we're going to go by, well, we don't think they're one of the best four teams. Well, that's the case. Why'd you put them over Georgia? I mean, Georgia just barely lost Alabama. So if you're saying Florida State's better than Georgia, then Florida State's better than Alabama. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think Florida State's better than Alabama. But I do think they're better, or let me, uh, rephrase it, sorry about that. I don't think Florida State's better than Georgia, but I do think Florida State is better than Alabama. Th this year's Alabama. Doesn't mean Alabama couldn't beat them, just like they beat Georgia. But you play that Georgia game probably 10 more times, I guarantee you Georgia beats Alabama probably 8 of them 10 this year. I'm not saying any other year or next year. Jo Alabama just wasn't the same Alabama team. So because they beat Georgia, and what happened was they threw the uh, committee into a loop by beating Georgia. And Georgia was favored to win, so they thought that was going to happen. Then, then Florida State beat Louisville. So they had a mess and didn't, couldn't see themselves not having an SEC team in this playoff. To me, you would have been more justified – and I'm not saying this is what it should have been, but you'd have been more just by putting Florida State number three because they were unbeaten and still having Georgia at number four because they only had one loss. And then, of course, they didn't play Texas. And I know people saying, well, you couldn't do that. Texas beat Alabama and Alabama beat Georgia. Well, no, you can't. That's why I said I don't. I'm not saying this is what it should be, but to me, you would have been more justified doing that than what you did do. So I think because they got beat by Alabama and it was so close, think about it. If Alabama and Georgia would have played and, and that would have been uh, week three and Alabama would have won this game just like this, by now they wouldn't have cared. Georgia would have probably been in. But again, you have to look at it as they were conference champions. So I think you got to put in first, and I don't know if they're going to bring anything out of this because they go to 12 teams next year. And I know people are saying, well, this will never happen again. But yes, it will. you got to have ground rules. you got to have rules. So to me, if you have a Power 5, especially conference champion, unbeaten, they're in. 
Now, if they would have just had five unbeaten conference champions, which is almost impossible, but let's say they did, then I could then justify you let, leaving one of them out. Because let's say Georgia would have won that game. I guarantee you, if somehow Georgia would have went down, kicked the last second, people or whatever, scored on the last play and won that game, even by one, Georgia is probably number one, Michigan two, Washington three, Florida State's four. Texas is probably five, then Alabama. Guarantee it. And they would have had a justification going because Georgia didn't play Alabama. These four teams are unbeaten. Point blank. And that would have been the right answer. But because Alabama beat Georgia, now all of a sudden they're thinking, oh, crap, what do we do now? Well, then you move everybody up. It should have been then Michigan, Washington, Florida State. And then, okay, who's the better one lost team? Well, Alabama just beat Georgia. So you're saying, well, I can't do that. I can't put Georgia in there. Even though to me, Georgia is probably the better team of them. But Texas is good. And you definitely can't put Alabama in over Texas. Not this year. So then it should have been a Texas number four. And which met SEC for the first time would not have had a team playing in the playoffs. Unless you want to count Texas because they're going to be SEC next year. So how I look at it is this year, even though they're not, you have Big Ten against SEC. you got Michigan and Washington. Washington's going to be Big Ten next year against Texas with Texas and Alabama. And Texas is going to be SEC next year. So you kind of got that. But they didn't see it that way. They're saying, well, we can't leave SEC out of this. And then made the, the stupid decision to put in Alabama. Nothing against Alabama. Alabama's a good team. And they would have beat almost any other team. I just don't think they're one of the top four teams. Um, and, and not saying I think Florida State's one. But when it comes to being unbeaten and won the championship conference championship and it's not like they played light schedule they played two sec teams and beat them one of them being a rival florida's a rival even though they're sec florida's a rival and yeah them teams lsu and florida are not the same as they've been but you can't go by that so it just didn't make sense leaving them out i think it put a black eye on college football and we're going to feel the effects of this for a while because they got to do something on how they make decision and hopefully something will come out of this how they decide what 12 teams go in there because people think well it ain't going to matter going to be 12 teams yeah it depends who's one and who's 12 who's two and who's 11 who gets a home game who doesn't that means a lot especially in college football so they need better rules. They need a criteria saying this is what we're looking at. This is how it's going to be. So it's in black and white. And we know how to not make up rules each week or each year on what they want to do. You can't do something two weeks ago or three weeks ago, or four weeks ago. And then this, this week you're doing something different on a criteria. Because if you're looking at it going, well, I don't think Florida State's the, one of the top four teams so they don't need, they can't get in. Well, then Alabama wouldn't have been in. Alabama's not one of the four best teams. Yeah, they beat out Georgia, but they're not one of the four best teams. I think Ohio State's better than Alabama. I think Georgia is better than Alabama. If you'd have put a one-loss Ohio State team in there, or even left a one-loss Georgia team in there, and left for and put Florida State at number three, I think that would have been justified, even though you still got a lot of flack. And you're going to get flack no matter what, but it would have been an arguable flack. It would have been justified. This is not justification. This is bias. This was political. This was them saying, we can't leave the SEC out of it, so we're going to do this. And that's the problem I have with it. So we'll see how it turns out. We'll see what comes out about it. Uh, but until the next video, guys, Go Big Red.